Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, October the 6th. We're going to talk about uh, a wonderful, wonderful organization with two great people with us today to bring us up to date. It's called Caring Hearts and Hands of Columbia. Doreen Ryden, good to have you here, Doreen. Thank we you. go back many, many, many years. Mm-hmm. Well, not <laughs> many, many, many years. years. <laughs> All right. And Patrick Lee, pleasure to have both of you. Thank you, Paul. Let's start, first of all, <laughs> Caring Hearts and Hands. What is it? And then I know you want to get into something particular. Caring Hearts and Hands is a foundation that is going to have a home where we can invite people who have terminal illnesses. For the last 30 days of their life, they can come to us. Um, And it can be anybody who doesn't have means, who doesn't have family, who doesn't have family close by. So for any reason, they could come in with us. Um, They don't have to pay for anything. So it's free of charge. Um, And the other big thing is that they do have to be on hospice to come into the house because hospice provides all our medical care. Okay. And the house provides the home and family. Yes, and the care. And the care. care. Okay. You wanted to talk about something in particular. Yes. You want to go? Patrick? And then I'll finish. Okay. So we have an annual event coming up on October 15th, Saturday. Okay. It's called our uh, Lights of Love Memorial event. It's similar to the luminary we did last year in Stevens Park. It truly is a celebration of lives of loved ones lost. It's tried to create a memorial atmosphere. We lined the walkways in Stevens Park with candles. It was amazing when you saw the aerial footage of that. So this year's event is going to be even more grand. We have all kinds of entertainment aligned. We have food trucks out there. So we ask people, if you're interested, to go online at www.caringheartandhands.org forward slash luminary. You can order a luminary for your loved one. And we will put a sign by the luminary. So as you walk up and down the sidewalks, we actually have the names of the individuals we're celebrating. Okay, so you go to caringheartsandhands.org, then forward slash luminary. luminary. Okay. And let me say that the heart has no S because it's the domain we could get. So okay. Caring Heart caring and heart. Hands. Okay, even though you're called Caring Hearts and Hands, the right. website right. is Caring Heart. Right. right. No S. Caring Heart and Hands. Org. And you can access information on the event. You can order luminaries for yourself or family members. Okay. Uh, and, and this is one, our main fundraiser, so we do ask people to contribute. How but, much are you hoping that you'll raise? Oh, gosh. I think last year we were raised about 8000 like, We would like to hit at least 20000 Yeah. If we you would like to raise at least $20,000. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you, if you do... Uh, request the luminary it really is it's it's special it's mm-hmm. a very special feeling mm-hmm. yes. um you walk out there you're with other people who have lost someone it's not it's i i don't want to say it's a happy feeling but it's a feeling of camaraderie and it's you, comfortable. You, everybody understands each other right. and then when you see you see the name of your loved one with that luminary it's very special mm-hmm. Um, I remember we did with uh, my mother, we did the, the cancer society we had that. And then they had the bagpipes. Mm-hmm. Would you yeah. have anything like that? We're going to have several different musical venues. We've got a children's choir that's going to perform for us. Okay. We probably have four or five different music venues. Okay. That will, and it, so this is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. And the date is? The 15th of October. 15th of October. Where? It's in uh, Stevens Lake Park. At okay. Gerald Shelter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And they can buy those the night of the event. You, you can, can buy the luminary that night, too. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. 
What do you want to mention now? Well, uh, I would like to mention that putting on these events is very time consuming, you know, and it's very um, warming to us, but it takes people to help um, do these kind of events. So I'm here trying to get people to become interested in this, this endeavor of ours and join us as a family. We could use people, you know, right now working on committees to get the house open. And once the house is open, we need people to run the house and take care of the, the guests in our home. So, so what you're looking for right now are volunteers. Yes. So if you, if you're listening to us or watching us, and you feel that you have it in your heart that you would like to be a part of an organization like this, Caring Heart and Hands, which is helping people in the final days of their life here on earth, not just helping those people, but helping their families, taking some of the burden mm -hmm. off the family. You could be a great assistance. And what you're giving of your time to help someone like this, you're also being paid back a thousand folds. Mm -hmm. the, the, to, to realize that you're reaching out and you're helping another human being, perhaps ease the burden, ease the pain a bit, a hug, show a little bit of love, compassion, mm -hmm. and say, I understand. Mm -hmm. and, and many of you have been in that situation, so you can relate to it. If you would like to be a part of this, what do they need to do to... Um, they can go back to the website at caringheartenhance.org, and on there there is a um, volunteer application. All you okay. have to do is fill that in, submit it, and it, we'll so be calling you. <laughs> how much? How much time do you think when somebody volunteers? How much time are you asking? We would like for them to work for at least six months. Okay. Um, but we would love you to stay longer. Okay. We'd love you to stay longer. All right. I mean, that could be four hours a week, four mm -hmm. hours a month, Okay, two hours. it's kind of whatever fits into your schedule yeah, exactly. and what you feel in your heart yep. when you yep. get into yep. it. Yep. How close are you to uh, having all of this come become a reality? Our goal is in March. March 1st. Mm -hmm. We actually have a home mm -hmm. that we have March under, the first. under lease now. Mm -hmm. We occupy the home in early January, so we have some preparatory work to do. But we're planning to open the doors on March 1st. Okay. And how many, how many people can you uh, help at a time? We can take two guests at a time. And unfortunately, that is only because that's a state law. Okay. That we can only have two. Okay. Uh, again, you just go to the website and you can, you can get all the information that you need. But if you want to partake uh, in the uh, event on October the 15th. 15th. October the 15th. CaringHeartAndHands.org forward slash luminary. You can sign up to uh, purchase a luminary for your loved one. On that same website, you can sign up to volunteer. You can uh, get all the information that you need to know to find out what they're doing. And if, if you would like to help, you would be welcome with open arms. All right. Definitely. Thank you so much. And please come back again. I would love to. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. We're out of time for today. If there's something that you would like to hear or see on our program, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. And don't forget caringheartandhands.org.